welcome back. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Folks, you lucky people. My guest tonight is a 12-time Emmy winner, a pop culture icon, and the queen of drag. Please welcome back to The Late Show, RuPaul! <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to Merry you. Christ- I Merry like to Christmas. Say, I like to say prissy kissness. Prissy like kissness? But you have to say in a child's face, prissy kissness. Prissy kissness, America. Prissy kissness. Isn't it fun to say prissy kissness? I'll take your word for yes, it. Yes, no, I just, I'm obsessed with prissy kissness. And, uh, and while you're asking, I'm also obsessed. <laughs> what else are you obsessed with, RuPaul? With the word Mexicatessen. Mexican test. It's a portmanteau that I read on Sunset Boulevard one day, and I thought, I couldn't stop saying it. Oh, it's a Mexican delicatessen. A Mexican del. It's amazing! A, a Mexican Mexicatessen. Mexican How genius is that? I, I, I like the mixture of Mississippi and Massachusetts, which is Mississippi. <laughs> you can have, there you go. I love there that. Go, I could go. never say that, because mm-hmm. I've never been able to say the state. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. I've never been able to say it. Let me see. Let me see. Because you're, you're doing a chew. Sits? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. <gasps> Did I do it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure though. Still. Well, I, I've always had problems with that. There are very few reasons to say that state's name. Well, unless you're there. Unless you're there. Yes. Unless we mm-hmm. are there. Well, listen. I'll tell you where you are, my friend. Where's that? You are coming up. This is. Season 15. Season 15 of our oh, show. Oh, yes. 2009, 2022. 13 years, 15 Amazing. seasons. Amazing. Congratulations. Thank you for that. I just learned that today. <laughs> I didn't know. Congratulations. That, that's well, lovely. That isn't, well, that's, that's not a portmanteau. It's just sort of a reinterpretation of... Because I'm doing... Because it's congratulations. Sure, I'm on board. But we say congratulations. Congratulations, Stephen. Mr. Chippewa. Yeah, there you go. I love it. Yesterday, you announced um, uh, a spinoff. Did I? You did. Mm. At least it says right here. It says Drag Race Global All Stars. Oh, honey, yes, child. We are taking over the world. Now, where are you? Are you going to shoot around the world? Because not everywhere in the world is as welcoming to uh, uh, drag shows as the United States is. They're not. Some aren't. Uh, I hate no, to tell you. We, I, I do, I do down under, and I do the UK, and I do the US. But mm-hmm. the others are, you know, other people uh, do those. Other hosts. Okay. Yes. Do yes. you have? Do you have? Now, okay. What's it like? What's it like doing the show down under? Well, it's funny because it, it's it, the studio is so small, it's like someone's garage that we do it in. In fact, my dressing room, if this were the stage, my dressing room would be on the other side of that wall right there. Wow. It is so tiny, but it's so fun because, you know, people in that part of the world are so fun. I'm married to an Australian, mm. and they are so funny and so fun. So I, I love going down there. and do, we, do, we actually shoot it in New Zealand, though. We don't go to... to uh, so it's, yeah. it's it's officially wait wait a second. So it's down under. Are, are there are Kiwi uh, drag artists there yes. too? As long as okay, I should know whether you were cheating and going to <laughs> going to diet Australia as I call New Zealand. Right. Yeah. Well, it's still down under. Sure, and a little bit over. Yeah, just a little down under and a little over. That's are right. Are you in Wellington, Auckland? Where are you doing? We're this? in Auckland, and yeah. we've been this. We'll be back there uh, next year uh, for the. Third or fourth time, I've lost track of all time. Honestly, of course, of I course. just have no. They're idea lovely where people, though, aren't they? They are the so much fun, and it's so gorgeous down there. Yeah. We have so much fun down there. It's yeah. great. Um, now, you you've got a tradition when you ask the finalists on on the Drag Race to address a younger photo of themselves, and we did a little research here, and we found we found a lovely photo uh, here of uh, <laughs> little uh, RuPaul uh, Andre Charles. Is RuPaul that, Andre, uh, Charles, Andre Charles, Charles yes. right there. And so, what would you want to say? To this uh, young gentleman right here, what would you want? To, what would you want him to know? Okay, little Ruru, <laughs> I'm going to give you some advice that you really need to know, and that is important for your future. 
invest in laser surgery. <laughs> Remove all your hair. It will come in handy one day, trust me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because at a certain point it's too late or you're just saving him years of waxing? Year, years of waxing. You know, I, I actually had electrolysis all over my face, but I kept my goatee. That was a mistake. Why did you keep this so you could play your because evil I'm twin? Because I'm still a man, you know what I'm saying? I'm still a dude. Okay. You know, but so I thought, oh, I'm gonna need that. I never needed it. Never mm -hmm. needed it's never it. It's too late. Can't you laser yeah, it off it now? Hurts. You know what happens? What? I'm so old that all of this hair is now white, and you can't laser the hair that's white. It, did you know that? No. It has to be black. The hair has to be black. I it waited too long. off? I don't know, I don't know, I don't, we, we'll have to ask NASA about that. It has to be black hair for it to laser. So little Ruru, get that hair lasered off your face. <laughs> all right, that's sound advice. We have to take a quick break, but I'll be right back with more RuPaul, everybody. Stick around.